Hi guys, let's make a video how to install Niri. This is Arconet, but you can do it with Arco Pro and Arco Plasma or as well Arco install. But remember, all the information is here. What was it again? How was it again? WYSIWYG XFCE is removed. I'm going to go for advanced. So if I forget online, if I forget to select a desktop, you'll end up with a beautiful SDM and no desktop behind it, which is cool if you want that, right? But here we have a new choice and that's Niri. So you can also deselect some stuff. If you say, I don't want everything, I just want a few things, but not this and not that, just select. But basically I start with this and then uh, learn how it all fits together. I can still decide to remove it, everything or, or something later on. So we're just going to go for some choices. You choose what you want. And this is basically the Neely installation, right? It's nothing more, nothing less. We're doing this in virtual box. <clears throat> there is something we should uh, remember if we are going to go for a Wayland thing. <clears throat> the thing is that sometimes, not always, it improves if you enable 3D acceleration. So play with these settings. And in this case, with Niri, it is amazingly fast, amazingly responsive, not anything like Hyperland or Wayland. So it's always man, try it, see what it what happens on your end. But yes, these things, anything uh, should not be installed in a virtual machine. They should go on real metal. But let's wait for the installation and then reboot. What we could do in the meantime, maybe, is have a quick look at uh, this particular release already. So we're writing for beginning of March, we'll have this release article. But since it's a lot of work, we just gradually add stuff. So if you don't know what Neary is all about, so with little explanation, what is Neary, scrollable tiling, will it native customizability, etc. You can read. And here is the nearest official GitHub repository. So anything, anything, everything, basically Niri is part of the ecosystem. That means you have the Arco Net, the Arco Pro, the Arco Plasma, the Arco install. So the last new four ISOs, that's all we have, four ISOs. But it goes on because we have also, that is the Arco install. We can also anywhere, anywhere, anything Arch, here they are, the long list anything Arch, we can install the Arch Linux 3 tool. We can install Niri. We can also trash it, the Arch Linux desktop trasher. Niri can be trashed again, right? And this is what we're looking at. And this is an image for, uh, for Plasma, from Plasma. So the Arco Plasma ISO. And you see it here. Uh, we should, uh, I'll make sure that you can click and that it becomes bigger so you can zoom in. But yes, it is Rate, uh, created with the Arco Plasma ISO. So this is the second video. This is the first one. We'll make a playlist. So the, the video we're making now is going to go under here. And um, yes, everything had to change. That means what is everything? We have here the information and the download website, anything Linux related, desktop related. This is a new desktop. So we go to the desktop website, phases, phase three, Tiling when I manage the desktop stuff, Wayland, right? A new guy. And here we have the same article from the release. And here all the videos will come. So let's um, wait for this thing to finish, boot up and um, play with it. It's time to go on. Let's restart. Run Linux Zen. Could have chosen the other one. I can remove Zen. I can keep Zen. Right? There are remove scripts you can try out. And there we are. This is without the thing enabled, right? About without the the tip that I gave you up here. Settings. Display. It's not enabled. Black screen. Oops, right? Okay, 
we forgot to do that. So remember, and it's deliberate, right? So you see what's going on and say, oh yeah, Eric explained that. We need to go to display, we need to go here. I kept VM SVGA, I tried it. And off we go again. And off we are, off we go, right? And there we are. So we got the auto start that we can quit. That's the welcome. And it's already maximalized. That's also good. We have here the menu opening up, escape, change the way bar, or choose the way bar, choices, some information about CPU, about the memory, another way of changing the wallpaper from the local list, the volume here, the keyboard shortcuts, which I should still edit a little bit, I see. This is gone. We decided to get rid of Kitty and go for Alacrity, yeah, sure. And then um, this is network and this is exit again. So everything seems to work fine. Super X is here. The major key bindings are control uh, Super X, Super Shift Enter. Uh, super T or no, Super T, that's Super T, Control Alt Enter or Super Q. This is Q, <laughs> my Q, right? It's set by default to UK. I am not living in, well, not okay, UK, sorry guys, uh, US, right? US, so QWERTY. That's um, the problem. So give, give me. Azerti for Neri. Done. I have, yes, Azerti. Super Q, Super Q, Super Shift Q, Super D, Super Shift D, and there you go. Super X, I'm out here. Or Super Shift X, I'm out of here. So everything works just fine. The thing is, and I'll, we'll leave it at that, but this is a virtual box, Hyperland and Wayfire. Oh. I don't like virtual box, but this one amazed me. Right? Super Q, Super Q. I have no, not really a feel of I'm in a virtual box. No, I don't have that feeling. I have the feeling that I'm on real metal all the time. So that's cool. Control Alt F is Firefox. If it's installed, it launches. Ctrl Alt V is Vivaldi. If it's installed, it launches and so on, right? You have to install the packages before the keyboard shortcuts can kick in. I'm pressing some buttons and I'll see what happens. So that's it. <laughs> Just Thunar opens up. There you go, guys. Have a look at it. Test it. Um, lots of things to, to learn. The thing you need to go and that's where I really end because that's for another video. That's where it is, right? The heart. The config is in the NIDI folder. You need to read every single file there. All right. Cheers.